guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you've not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. Today's video is going to be a hair tutorial on this hairstyle right here. I absolutely love this kind of mermaidy, beachy little look that I've got going on. I used to do this hairstyle all the time when I had longer hair, and now that I have short hair, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to pull it off but I actually really, really like the way that it looks. So I want to show you guys how I do it today. And I actually use this little handy dandy hair waver. It's really, really awesome. If you guys are interested in a great hair waver, I cannot recommend this one anymore. And it's actually pretty affordable. It's between like 30 and $40 on Amazon. So super, super easy to pick up. And if you got Prime, you can get it in like two days. So that's always nice too. If you guys are not interested in buying a hair waver, but you want to still achieve a similar look to this, I would suggest checking out my video that I posted back in the fall. I think it was either fall or summer. It might've been summer, but I had a little bit longer hair. It was probably like down to here. And I actually achieved pretty much the same exact look using a straightener and a curling iron. So again, if you guys are not interested in buying a, another heat tool, I will go ahead and link that video down below so you guys can check it out there. But I will say it takes a lot longer using a curling iron and a strainer, so I would highly suggest grabbing this guy. Before you get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see from me in the future. I've definitely been struggling a little bit coming up with content ideas. I obviously love doing hauls for you, but I get comments every once in a while like, oh my gosh, you do too many hauls. So I understand that. So let me know what else you guys would like to see from me. And if you guys wanna give me a follow on Instagram, that would be so awesome. I will be sure to link my Instagram down below as well as my Poshmark. I've been like way more on it with posting new items to my closet there so that you guys can shop my closet. So definitely check it out there. Camera details, outfit details, all that fun stuff will definitely be linked down below as well as all the products that I use. So check them out there. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm not really super careful on the bottom because you can't really see the bottom. It doesn't matter that much. Um, but I'm gonna be using this hair waver from Amazon. I will be sure to link it in the description box. And I'm also using my GHD straightener. You can use any old straightener for this tutorial, but I do feel like of all hair waivers that I've used, and you guys know I knocked hair waivers in the past, but this one is amazing. So I highly, highly recommend it. And I've got it on the second to highest level. And then I'm also using my heat protectant. This is the Way Hair Care Memory Mist. And I'm just gonna like spray each section go biggest thing with this waiver for all of the bottom sections i personally really like to use it a certain way so if you guys notice it's got three little waiver prong things and so whichever way you hold this whether it's this way or this way it's going to depend on how your curls your waves come out so the way that I like to hold it while I am doing the bottom sections is like so. So you can see the pattern goes like this. Um, I kind of referred to it in the Instagram tutorial that I talked about this as the first wave that you're doing is like a rainbow shape, if you guys can see that. So you've got like a rainbow shape versus if it's upside down, you've got kind of that first wave in a U shape or like a smiley face shape. I hope that makes sense. So I wanna hold it like this, in that rainbow shape when I'm doing the bottom sections. And obviously you can do it however you want, but the reason I like to do that is because it gives you kind of this nice bump of volume right at the root. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So I like to clamp down on it and hold it for about five seconds. So if you guys see, you've got that little bump here right at the top versus if I had done it the opposite upside down way. So the U shape first, 
I would have had like more flatness here at the root. I hope that makes sense. I'm literally just doing the same exact thing for every single spot in my hair as I keep going. Before I move on to the next section, I normally will leave this step to the very end, but lately when I've been doing this hairstyle, I do it as I go and I feel like it's way really easier. So I don't like how these end pieces are kind of curling in. You can't really tell right now, but once I get towards the end, you'll see it just kind of like leaves a weird pattern and I feel like it makes it look a little less natural. So what I like to do is just kind of flatten those ends, I even kind of like flip them out a tiny bit with the straightener. Obviously you don't have to do this, but I just feel like it ends up making it look a lot more natural. I don't want them to be like stick straight, like awkwardly straight at the bottom. So I probably will go ahead and speed up the rest of this, but I did want to show you guys something before I do that. Um, I'm literally doing the exact same thing, but I don't know if I'm just like not smart or what I was thinking. But when I did my waving tutorial slash review back in the fall, I had no idea what I was doing with the waver. I thought that for my next wave, I was just supposed to go down to the next section, like start right here basically. But what you're supposed to do, and I had a lot of people in the comments like trolling me like crazy, um, you're supposed to start with the wave you left off on so you continue that like wavy pattern versus if I were to start right here I would have another bump right next to this one and the pattern would look really awkward so make sure you do that when you're waving don't be like me and not smart about it as you guys can see because I redid this one I'm still continuing that pattern so I'm going to speed up doing the rest of my hair. Just keep in mind that's how I'm doing it. And then I'm going to continue flattering the ends. And then the very top section, I will stop and let you guys see what I do there. want to be a little bit more careful when I'm waving my hair not to get like as many kinks especially near the roots sometimes you can't really help it for the front piece I want it to be a little bit softer 
So I grab about an inch, an inch and a half-ish amount of hair. And this entire time I've been using that rainbow shape first. I'm actually gonna turn that upside down and use the U shape first. Start about right here. And I don't wanna hold it for as long either. front pieces I just like that little bump right here to be like my natural little volume situation I'm gonna soften this entire wave all right so for the rest of my hair I'm literally just doing the exact same thing I've been doing all along I want to keep that same shape that I've been doing. So something that you can do is change the way that you're holding your waiver. So I can hold it flat like this. I can turn it vertical or sideways somehow and that will change the way of your wave shape too, which is kind of nice. And you can grab smaller pieces too for this part. Normally I'm just lazy and I'll do like big chunks but i'll do small pieces for the sake of this video so you can guys can see how i can get a little bit more variation in the way that i get my waves to come out so for this next piece i'm going to pull forward a bit with it now I just want to add some styling products so first off let's use the Alterna caviar anti-aging perfect texture spray I just like to focus the ends and midsection of my hair just to give a little bit more definition and texture All right, and next I'm using the Way Dry Texture Foam Mousse. I'm just gonna spray that, rather pump that into my hands. And I focus this on the ends of my hair. Just gives it some nice texture, nice peasiness. Kind of scrunch it into my hair. And this is the final look. I'm super happy with it. I don't know about you guys, but I love these kind of beachy hairstyles that just look so like effortless. Obviously I put a lot of effort into it. But for some reason, they just look like I just rolled out of bed and my hair looks super chic and beachy. I'm into it. <laughs> this is a hairstyle that I really don't have to touch either for a full week. I can go a whole week and my hair looks pretty good. Obviously, it starts looking a little bit greasy. But as far as like the styling goes, it still looks really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.